understand. Why, 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 why would she do this? Why would she name Skylar Joplin as our baby's legal guardian? How should I know? It was a rhetorical question. Fish. Do you know something about this? You're cold. Mel. Colder than I thought possible. I told you to remember how strong you are. I said you'd find a way to deal with Mitch Lawrence and not involve killing him. I did? I'm not gonna kill him. No. You just got somebody to do it for you. Your hands will be squeaky clean. But have you given a moment's thought as to what will happen to Charlie Banks? You're as good as dead, Lawrence. We will create the chosen one together, my daughter. I will give you a child. It's better this way. No tainted vessel involved at all. Our child will truly be our child. Blood of my blood. But you're my father. How can we have a child together? It's gonna be fine. Jessica will be fine. It's she's a survivor and she's smart. She'll she'll outsmart psych that psycho, you know. Well, Kim is frantic about her friend Stacy. She thinks that Mitch Lawrence may have kidnapped her as well. Told her to get some sleep, but I don't think she will. Why don't you read her a bedtime story? Oh, give it a rest. <laughs> no pun intended, right? Vicky. Why? Is everything all right? Well, I just uh -huh. got out on bail. I called bring me here straight away. Any news on Jessica? No. Nothing at all. And apparently we think that Mitch has kidnapped Gigi's sister Stacy as well. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, have you heard from John? No. He and Brody were going to look for Jessica after they escaped. And we haven't heard from either one of them. And when Natalie called, she didn't tell us where they were headed. Natalie? Uh, Natalie's with John? We're going to warm up in here. At least Dad is no. Hey. Hey. Natalie. You still with me? Natalie. For your help, you promised me that I would find a way. And what did you come up with? Getting Vicky's husband to commit murder. I didn't force Charlie to do anything that he didn't already want to do. Of course not. Talk about pulling strings. You're using the man to get what you want. No, he is not doing this for me. He's doing this for Jared. Yes, he needs to kill Mitch. It's the only way that Jared will ever rest in peace. You need help. No, that's not what I meant. Stay focused, Banks. You just gotta get up that mountain and do what you have to do. What are you doing, Dad? I am gonna make Mitch pay for what he did to you. And then I'm gonna make sure that he can never hurt anybody else ever again. What fight? Going after him. It's Blizzard. He's got Jessica. This was handmade for Stacy to wear when she delivered the baby. But her child was not the one that was meant to lead us into the future. Forgive me, Lord, for not seeing your true intention. Jessica. You and I put this to far better use than the Chosen One has conceived. Braxton Hicks 
these things. Everything's gonna be okay, okay, baby? I'm gonna get you home. Safe and warm, and Daddy's gonna be so happy to see us. He's never gonna let us out of his sight. As long as Skylar didn't tell Gigi the truth. Why Stacy would want Skyler to raise our kid in case something happens to us? They, they must be close, right? I mean, wasn't he her boyfriend back in Vegas? Yeah, but uh, Stacy hates him now. Skyler's the one who busted her when she switched those stem cells for Shane. Why would she want him to be our baby's guardian? Maybe she found a way to forgive him. Stacy is not the forgiving type, okay? She, there's no way she would put that kind of trust in Skyler. Unless... Unless what? I told you, Stacy hates my sisters. So in case you wanted to make sure that I didn't name Jessica or Natalie as a guardian, she... No, it makes no sense. You know something, don't you? Like what? What, what, what could I know? You know, you're a terrific cop, but you're a lousy liar. Give it to me straight. Did Stacy tell you something? Come on, fish! What's going on here? Rex, I... <laughs> I smell smoke. Hey, come on. I didn't pull you out of that burning car so you could die on me now. Hey, come on. You with me? That's it. That's it. Stay with me. I thought you left me. Nah, you didn't get rid of me that easy. Here you would say that. Now we can be together. Forever, Jared. My people again. And? And they've called off the search in certain areas because it's a total whiteout. I didn't think that I would see you here. Just wanted to check up on your Aunt Vicky. I should have figured. How's Danny? Oh, she's trying to get used to the idea that you're her dad. Hmm. Trying to reconcile your past with the man I keep telling her that you are. Yeah, how's that going? It's going good. You know, <laughs> soon she'll realize that. You love your kids more than anything in the world. You would do anything to keep us safe and happy. Just give Danny a little time. Yeah, how much time? As much as she needs. I don't know. Yeah, what if that's too long, though, right? I mean, what if something happens and we never get to know each other? Like what? Well, I don't know. Take your pick. Look what's going on with Clint and Vicky. Try to keep your kids safe. Vicky, I need to do something. Well, you are. You're doing everything you can. Well, my people aren't getting anything done, and Lowell's police force, they're useless. Mm -hmm. We need to find Jesse. Mm -hmm. And now there's all this nonsense with Stacy and her baby. Well, they, I mean, there is hope, you know? Yeah, John and Brody. Yeah, maybe even Charlie. Charlie is out there looking? I don't know, I don't know, but that's what he said he was going to do. I saw him earlier, and... Clint, he promised me that Jessica was going to come back, and he was... he seemed so sure. Why? Does Charlie know something that we don't? When 